The city of Bedford has a long history of sending its sons and daughters to serve the country, including 22-year-old John Paul Ryder, who was a sergeant in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. In December 1950, Sergeant Ryder was reported missing in action while his unit was engaged in combat with units from China and North Korea. In 1954, after the conflict ended, there was an exchange of the war dead, and the U.S. received the remains of 2,000 service members, including a number of soldiers who could not be identified. And then they were then sent to Hawaii and they were buried as unknowns at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu. In 2019, as part of the U.S. military's commitment to identify unknowns killed in Korea, the remains of soldiers were exhumed from graves at Punchbowl Cemetery. Then during an exhaustive forensic investigation, Military scientists used dental records, chest x-rays, and DNA to confirm that one of the Korean unknowns was Sergeant John P. Ryder. They analyzed those samples for DNA, and then they compare those samples to a database of what we call FRS, family reference samples. It was in April of this year that the military was able to notify surviving members of Sergeant Ryder's family here in Northeast Ohio that his remains had been positively identified. They didn't have all the tools that we have. And so at least we have the tools and we have the mission and as a country have the desire to still bring these service members home. And in fact, the remains of Sergeant John Ryder are finally being returned to his hometown of Bedford. He will be buried with full military honors on Friday, September 20th. Those who took part in the incredible journey to bring Sergeant Ryder home say it is part of the soldier's creed to never leave a fallen comrade behind. Sometimes because of the horrors of war and battle, we can't fulfill that promise right away. It doesn't mean we've forgotten. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News in Bedford.